This is a pre-recorded lesson for my students, especially for those who are having the modular learning type of delivery. This is for you, so you better download this video while your connection to the internet is stable enough for you to do so. Good day, this is Teacher F and welcome to my virtual science class. In this video, we are going to talk about Properties of Useful Materials. Now if you're ready, let's begin! Materials found at home are called household materials. There are many different kinds of household materials, and they serve different purposes. Household materials are sometimes classified based on what they are made up of. There are household materials made of plastics, fabrics, metals, glass, ceramics, chemicals, and combinations thereof to name a few. The substances that make up these materials determine the properties they exhibit. And the properties they exhibit help determine whether they are useful or harmful at home. What makes a household material useful? What are the different properties of a material that make it useful at home? When do you say that the material is useful? The first consideration to look at is its purposefulness. Useful materials serve a purpose to living things and to the environment. Kitchen utensils, for example, are useful because they aid in cooking and preparing food. Without these kitchen utensils, cooking and eating would most probably be a challenge. Another consideration is its reusability. A useful material can be used and reused for many times. Imagine if all household materials are disposable, it would be impractical, very costly, and would generate a lot of garbage per day. The third consideration is recyclability. A material is useful if it can be transformed into another material or if it can be utilized in a way other than its normal use. What are some useful materials at home? Ceramics Tiles, bricks, cement, pots, bowls, plates, and figurines are some examples of ceramic materials at home. Ceramics are made from different types of clay fired and molded at different temperatures. Depending on the clay and the firing temperature used, Ceramic materials can be classified into three basic categories, earthenware, stoneware, and porcelain. The property of a material to be kneaded or formed into a desired shape is called moldability. Ceramics find many uses at home because they are known to have a high melting point, the temperature at which solid turns to liquid. Because of this, they are heat resistant. They exhibit hardness, strength, and considerable durability. That is why they are long lasting and hard wearing. They also exhibit low electrical and heat conductivity, which means they are good insulators. Glass. There are lots of household materials made of glass mirrors, eyeglasses, containers. Windows, doors, and covers are just some of them. Glass is made by melting a mixture of sand, limestone, and soda ash at a very high temperature. Other chemicals may be added for coloring. It behaves like a liquid when melted and solid when cooled. Hence, glass can be poured, blown, pressed, and molded at very high temperatures and allowed to cool into plenty of desired forms and shapes at room temperature. Household materials made of ceramics and glass are safe and resist melting, even at high temperatures. However, because of their brittleness, they break easily. Fabrics Clothes, bedsheets, pillowcases, curtains, and towels are all fabrics. 
Fabrics are made by weaving together thread fibers such as cotton, nylon, wool, or silk. Combinations of threads produce different types of fabrics. Fabrics are useful materials at home because of their durability and biodegradability. Since they are biodegradable, they can also decompose with the help of bacteria or other biological means. Metals Metals and their mixtures are used extensively at home and in our daily lives. Many of the household materials are made of metals or contain metal parts. Cookware like pots, pans, and utensils use stainless steels. Jewelries and ornaments are made of gold and silver. Copper and aluminum metals are used in wirings. Aluminum foils are used as wrappers for food and medicines. Steel is used in construction of houses and buildings. What makes metal useful? Metals exhibit properties such as high boiling point, high melting point, electrical and heat conductivity, ductility, and malleability. The property of metals to be drawn into wires is called ductility. The property of metals to be hammered into thin sheets is called malleability. All these properties make metals durable, strong, and suitable for a lot of applications. Paper There are a lot of paper products found at home. Everywhere you look, you will see paper or a material made out of paper. Writing pads, books, paper cups and plates, paper bags, tissue paper, photographs, and paper boxes are some examples. Paper is basically used for writing, drawing, printing, or wrapping. However, because of its absorbability, which is the ability to suck up liquid, it is also used for cleaning things. Paper is also used as packaging materials for a variety of different products. Plastics Plastics are generally light but very strong. Their low melting and boiling points make them easy to melt and be molded or form into different sorts of materials. Because of its versatility or ability to adapt to many different functions, plastics can be anything. From wrappers and containers, to sealants and glues, to chairs and tables, and can practically be applied to anything.
And that ends our lesson for this episode. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to type them in the comment section below and I'll be answering those as soon as I can. And please answer our short quiz for this episode. Just click the link on the description below. Please don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon for notifications. Once again, I'm Teacher F and I hope that you had a great virtual learning experience.